Yeah, man. So one day, man, since a tragedy, man. So this is what life is now. But I met this beautiful girl, man. So we went on like a little mini vacay and shit. We walking on a boardwalk. I'm trying to get to know her, man. Her body was beautiful. Her face was beautiful, man. Smile out of the sky. <sighs> so I wanted to get to know her, man. I wanted to know what was in her soul, man. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to know who she was as a person, her dreams and fears, man. So I asked her about the women's empowerment movement. And this was her answer. We got back in the house, so I was just like hypnotized because, you know, that ass was juicy and fat. So we got on the balcony, and I was like, yo, what do you think about Black Lives Matter? And this was her answer. So then, man, like I told you, this girl was beautiful, man, and, you know, it was our first weekend together, man. I took her away because I didn't want her to see nobody but me. So I just wanted to know if she was wifey material. I didn't want to spend my little bit of bread on her, man. But she was so bad. So I asked her one more time. I said, what do you think about Kanye West running for president in 2020? And this is what she did. Yeah, man, so as a result, y'all want to know, me and Shorty still together? Fuck yeah, man. You know I wasn't leaving that fat ass. I ain't give a fuck what she cared about. Word, we got three kids. Word, she take all my money. And guess what? I don't give a fuck, man, nigga. What? Happy wife, happy life, nigga. Peace. Highly dysfunctional. <laughs>